All right, here's a little story for you. All right. Uh, the cop driving around sees that a beatdown is taking place of an emotionally challenged fucking child. Oh, Jesus. Kid. Okay. The cop jumps in. What? Breaks it up. Okay. Right? All right. Stops it from happening. Good. That cop is now going to be fired because the two people doing the beatdown were both cops. <sighs> so. What? She rolled up, saw that these guys were getting out of control, pulled them off. Uh, and we've got it up on the eye bang right here. And you can see her there trying to pull a cop off somebody. And she crossed what we like to call the thin blue line. She won't fucking Serpico on us. Well, I mean, this fucking child was getting beaten up. Well, look, it's her and her partner there, I guess. And No, neither one is her partner. Well, they're trying to pull this guy off of this kid, and they're un- it looks like they're unable no, no. to do it in this shot. No, both those guys are on it. Both those the guys, guys are, are the guys on the kid. She's on her own. And she and the guy, uh, mainly on top of the kid, looks just nuts in the picture. Like he has completely lost it. All right, so we're all together on this one. That's now, when it works, when we're all together. They got called. This kid was freaking out, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, the mother called and said that the kid had probably they actually called for an ambulance. So the cops get there before the ambulance, and according to the mother, immediately start trying to take the fucking kid down. <laughs> Just start whacking. So this, it was actually this woman's call, and these other two guys were back up, <laughs> and they just went bad shit. So she's taking her shit around the fucking TV, trying to get the TV to back her up. Like, check it out. Look at me, I'm Serpico. See? I'm the one helping people. You guys like Al Pacino, right? Godfather, Serpico. Well, hmm. that's fucked. Crazy little bastard kid just losing that shit. Hmm. I don't even know, because, I mean, if the kid's, like, emotionally challenged, was like, autism, I guess? I don't know what the fuck they are. It's like something that's I would like the to brain. call it retarded, but everybody gets mad at that now. Yeah, no one likes that. They're not going to understand the police are. Jim, you're on the Run of Fez show. Um, I just laugh at it up, Pepper. Crazy little bastard kid. Um, <laughs> what? Hey, hey, Fezzy, could you imagine how exciting your life would be if you got one of these in your life? You need a crazy drunk partner. For your first, to, to set the stage. Well, I'm sure there's going to be drama to begin with, but I have the fear of having somebody as a partner who's going to beat me to death. But that's the excitement of every day. That's, that's the terror. That would be the terror of every why, day. Why are you worried about being beat to death? Because I've seen stories about it in the newspaper. So what you're saying is you don't trust gays. No, I'm saying I don't trust everybody. You're saying you don't trust gays. You know, you always talk about bullying and acceptance, right? Uh Uh-huh. But when you think of a gay partner, immediately goes into your head that this partner is going to take advantage of you, steal from you, beat you, and eventually kill you. That's in your head right now. And before you go on, you have to accept that. Well, it's because I like a younger type person than me, but and we, that's the way those things have played out. But if we sit around, well, three times. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to be with uh, prostitutes, then yeah, there, it is a dangerous game to play. Everybody knows that. But here's what I'm trying to say: if we sat around saying gays beat people and kill people and do stuff, you would act like we were being prejudiced yet that is your first thought in a gay relationship well why don't you just date somebody your own way age i'm not really attracted to someone my own age so i'm attracted to underage so i'm thinking of a physical relationship here why are you thinking physical first because i figure that's how it's going to start there would be that attraction and then we would go from there yeah, but for you to act like you're ever going to be in a long-term relationship with a kid, why would that happen? Well, if you somehow fucking... hit it off. Right, but then what's he going to do? Wipe your fucking ass in another couple of years? You know? 
Wouldn't that person want to get out and party and do things? Oh, yeah. You're not going to be on run around lifestyle. You're going to be all fucking sedentary. Now you'd be like, where where are you? With your friends up the beach? You're not getting any of this money then. Uh, and then it. finally, you guys got to grab a fucking lamp and smash you in the head. Are you having group sex again <laughs> with your sexy young friends? You can invite them over here. Now, here's another fucking weird thing. Fez is attracted to two type of men. What kinds? Straight men? Yeah. That he can have. Damn it. And young gay hustlers that he's afraid of. All right. So, again, we fall back into that. And when I say, why don't you find a nice person like yourself, he has no interest at all. You know what I mean? You got you to find a little something for yourself. Just go with the gay hustler. That's three people that would kill Fez right there. More than likely, yes. But there's an outside chance he'll just take his money and not murder him. I think they'd kill him just so they could fucking not have him blabbing, because you know he can't keep his mouth shut. That's a good point. I bet the first person he calls is a sister. <laughs> He's gone. He hit me, and he took my brooch. <laughs> I'm not calling the police, because I still love him. Duh. That kid that was dancing around twerking, Fez, is that who you're attracted to? No, that is a child. I'm not attracted to a child twerker. Uh, I don't know. He's young. Like, you like him. And twerking, it seems like something maybe that community... If Handsome Johnny was gay, would he be about the age that you'd be interested in? Yeah. He's yep. far too young for you. He's far too young for you. Oh, God, Fez. You realize if you go for somebody that young, you can't be attached. Yeah. You have to say, this is all just for fun. Yeah. You, and it won't last. You, One day, that person will walk out. It's like you have to use them. Like use I'm, their assholes and balls and, and cock. Don't oh, I didn't even mouth. think about Because, you know. I never see him on the receive again. <laughs> I can't picture anyone that would want to do that. <laughs> And to say that he's only attracted to one type, do you even believe that? <sighs> See, Fez hasn't experienced physical love, so he it's, I think it's hard to really tell that. So, so you know, as How he, kind you are to call that physical love? I, I don't know. Dirty gay fucking. Mm. I don't know. It's also I think physical he, love. I think he's trying to stay out of it. Come on. There you go. Right Why, there. do you think when you, the fucking twink is banging you on the ass, he's going to be thinking, I love this guy so much? Or is he going to be thinking, all right, this is worth 600 bucks. I don't care what he says. God, it's got to come. That's it. I'm not even probably. I don't know. It's like pulling teeth with him, but I don't know what the real story is. But there's, you know, there's straight couples where one person is older than the other. Name one. Aunt. Um, Aunt is always ready to know that, you know, he moves on. He's able to do that. You, he doesn't sit around thinking about 10, 20 years down the road. You do. There's a fucking trade-off. To live that kind of thing. And are, I, you, are you willing to make the trade-off? Um, are you willing to say, this is not going to last long, this is a season or two? That's really hard for me to say because I know I'm going to get attached really fast and really hard. To an underage boy. No, a not barely to an legal. underage a barely boy. Yeah, a barely legal. legal. Someone mid-20s. There would be no re. First of all... Why would you think you have anything in common with people in the mid-20s? You don't listen to the same music. You don't watch the same things. You don't go on the same websites. You don't do anything in the same, right? Right, yeah. So why would that person want to stay with you long term? Because you're so sexually exciting? No, I, I don't have that. At least not that I know of. So what's in it for this person? Money, right? Yeah, I guess so. So that's a job, basically. You're basically saying to somebody, 
would you like to have a job having sex with me? But you're saying, oh, you want this and you're going to be attached. What are you attached to? You're not going to have anything to talk about. Or do you see yourself as you're going to be able to teach them about stuff? Like, oh, you don't understand. Years ago, even before it was the WCW, it was Georgia Wrestling. Oh, really? Let me show you some of these books and pamphlets. <laughs> Is that how? Do you see yourself almost like it's my fair lady? Well, it's uh, no, because I don't have a lot to educate someone on. But the way you put it there, yes, a young gay wrestling fan. What happens would when be a he nice hookup? What happens when he learns everything? What happened in the end of My Fair Lady? I don't know. She leaves. Mm. Maybe just go on Craigslist and just like casual encounters, you know? You want to do that? Craigslist it? Well, Put his name and address in. Okay. No, we have Craigslist killers. This is one. This is just regular killers all the time. Let's see. <sighs> Services. Oh, no, personals, men seeking men. You know what I honestly think? Yeah. That he's trying to find a closet in his closet. No. You got to burn every closet fucking down. Look, naked at home, I can open the door naked. 33, sheep's head. It's too old for Fez. Okay, let me go younger. All right. Sexy black BTTM. Perfect. For gen men. Your bed. Perfect. I, oh, God. What about that, Fez? Look at that ass. Oh. That's a good looking guy. Ah, uh, he's... Uh, well, I can't. I mean, we're just getting Hold the body on. here. Sexy black bottom looking for serious gay men. Only race, size, looks are unimportant. He has a tight athletic body. He's eight inches cut. That's a prostitute that we're looking at there. Probably, yeah. All right, well, let me see more young dudes. Looking for... All the young dudes. <laughs> Here's one. Sucking and rimming, 25 in Bushwick. Interesting. Looking to suck a nice dick and eat some ass. <laughs> Why is this funny to you? This is his fucking life. You're treating it like it's fucking humor. Real horny and looking. You go on these sites and look at this. Fest. No, I don't look at that. Why not? Come because on, I want to give it a shot. I I want to meet somebody that is, that I'm not being w worried about that they're coming for me. Oh, they're gonna be coming. I'm HIV neg. Tested two months ago. No, that doesn't work. Then, did not interest it. Into getting fucked too. Okay, never mind. Let's see. Slut sub wants to be whored out. I don't think that's real. Mm. I right, don't see more young people. All right, we're just no, gonna, some of these people. What are we're using... gonna do is I... fill in your name and address and send you some people. And see, some of these people are using obvious uh, modeling shots that aren't them. That black guy, I don't know, was modeling shot. Mm -hmm. That Asian bottom looking to get pounded, 23 years old. Perfect. There's his bottom. Oh. I don't want to look at that anymore. Good looking, smooth, masculine Asian bottom with cute bubble butt looking for safe and rough fun. I can take it deep and big. Mm, how about shallow and small? Huh, you like that? Is that a little enough for you? <laughs> huh, can you barely feel that? Okay, hold on. Financial district, 23 years old. Yeah. Seeking to suck corporate cock now. Mm. Oh, and there's his asshole spread. That's, that's gross. Okay. Well, this, Turn it off, dude. Hung is, it off. hung is important, no blacks. Racist. You're already gay. Why be racist? Oh, holy that guy? shit. What? Curious virgin, 18 years old in the Bronx. It's a liar. That's the guy who's going to kill you. The curious Sounds virgin. Sounds like it. So here's Sounds the too deal. good to be true. I'm 18, thick, and a virgin. Feeling super horny. Must have a car or willing to pay my cabs. Mm, yeah. Now, Fez, <laughs> you would be with an 18-year-old? I Yeah. Yeah, I would be with oh, an 18-year-old. That's shit. legal. All right, this one's 18 in Valley Stream, and there's lots of picks. If it was a, if it was legal, would you be with a 17-year-old? No. If that, it was legal. 
Like it's accepted, it's legal. Like no, everyone... because now you're getting into a high school person. And... Could be Let's school. say they had a GED. If it was legal, yes. If it was legal, oh, totally man. legal. Fifteen? No, that's way too young. But they already graduated from college because they're a genius, and they're fifteen. No, it's still too young. That's so, too much. There's a big difference between you and 15 and 17. What happens during these two real growing years? I think you become more of an adult as you get towards 18. Really? You run into a lot of 18-year-old adults? Well, more than they would be if they were 15. Um, who, do we, who do you know that's 18 that you're like, oh, that fucking dude is a really great guy? Because that adult can't get a drink. Hands banana. Oh, we know hands banana is old to them. Is hands banana old enough for you? Um, no, not hands bananas personally. Did you get in trouble for the hands bananas pictures? Yes, I got spoken to. By who? Well, Rob Cross mentioned something, and you and you passed it along as well. Yeah, so what, you're being gross right now. I had to say to Fez. If it was me saying this to a young intern, that would be creepy. There's no difference with you doing it with a young boy. Uh -huh. it's particularly when I saw the fear in Fez and Hans Bonanza's eyes and the lust in Fez's eyes. That's disturbing. Fez says he'd be with an 18-year-old. By the way, Fezzy, um, a lot of 18-year-olds still in high school. Drew, you're on the run of Fez show. Uh, yeah, I'm done with the show if uh, Fez is fucking 17 year old boys. He says they're very fucking mature. They're very, some of them are very, very adult. Um, he's purple guy. You're on Fez. Yeah, I want to ask Fez, um, what's the last thing or the last time that you tried to actually go out and get a man? <laughs> That hasn't been your strength so far, right, Fez? No, I've talked to a lot of people, made nice conversation, or at least tried to, and, uh, I mean, that's as far as it went. How does the conversations go? Well, basically, like, at the sports bar in Chelsea, where it's, like, just kind of talking about the game and try to be pals first. Fez, you don't watch any sport but football. It's been months now since football season. Oh, yeah. And you watch all the playoffs with us. So January, you're going back to it. Mm hmm Why don't you try to approach me? Let's just try it. See how it would work. Sure. Hey, how you doing? Well, I'm 19, old man. I'm 19 years old. Oh, I'm not so old. How old are you? Well, I'll just keep that to myself. Why? Ashamed of how old you are? Talking to, let me just ask you this. Are you old enough to be my father? Yes, I could have been your father. Mm. So you have been with people before? No, I haven't been with anyone before. Wait, you're a virgin father? Instead of virgin mother? Uh, yeah, I'm old enough to be your father, but I've never had sex before. So you're like the, the Earth 2 virgin mother? Exactly. Well, what can I do for you, mister? Would you like your lawn mode? No, I was just wondering if anyone was sitting here, if you mind if I joined you. Go ahead. It's free country. Did you want to go get something to eat after the game? Well, I am a runaway. I'm very hungry. <laughs> Where would you take me? Uh, there's a diner around the corner here. We could go there. What do I have to do? Blow you for a hamburger? <laughs> no, you don't have to do anything you don't want, but we could just sit and eat and we could... Uh, Get to know each other. What would you like to know? I'm only a kid. Just a child. Where'd you run away from? Kansas. That's a crazy question to ask. Ran away from Kansas. Scared. What are you running away Hold from, I'm kid? scared, and I don't have any more to stay tonight. Did you want to stay at my place? And do what? Eat your asshole all night? Is that where this is going? Only if you want to. Oh. So this is what you would say to a child, to a runaway. I've never dealt with a runaway before. But this is what's happening right now. You're saying, because you've never dealt with it before, your way is to make a runaway eat your ass out. <laughs> All night long, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just saying only if the runaway is into it. Well, I found this guy. I'm not on forcing Craigslist. a runaway. Yeah, what's his story? All right, cute 19 years old, looking for tops to fill me up. 
I'm into getting pissed on and pissed inside. <laughs> Dude, you call him for Fez. Take all loads, just be clean and fun. Face the cockpits and first email and no response. Unmask. Uh, unmasked uh, Tuesday, and it's going to be a fun one.